My name is Daryl Barnes and I am going to call myself Brother Barnes in this video because I want to introduce you to a friend and a brother of mine, Nick Mitchell. He is an overcomer and achiever and an encourager. By his own profession, he says, I lived my life like what's in the movies. Now I live for Jesus. When he was a baby, he was diagnosed with kidney cancer, but not until his mother had become very persistent with the doctors to figure out what exactly was wrong with him. So through help, through prayer, through the persistence of his mother, the grace of God, he was able to recover. When he got to his teen years, he got off the path of what his parents had taught him. And not only had he gotten off path, but he encouraged other people in the same activities. Once again, his mom kept inviting him to church again and again. And finally, he went back to church even in his compromised state, but he turned his life over to Christ at that time and has lived that way ever since. If you see him on the street, he's got long hair, long beard, rides a motorcycle, kind of looks like Jesus. That would be one way that you would know Nick Mitchell. I met him through his sister in one of my classes, and the longer I knew her, the more I liked how she thought. And then all of a sudden, her brother showed up, I think the next semester, and we became friends. He was an active participant in my classes. He led discussions. He went on some of, our, some of our nature walkabouts. I call myself an outdoorsman, but I call him a fisher of men. He likes the outdoors, but more than that, he likes helping people. He is a man of prayer. He has been known to pray with people on the street. He sends daily scriptures to his friends and family. He completed his, his associate's degree, got his bachelor's in science education, and at the same time was credentialed through the Assemblies of God churches as a minister. He's now a science teacher and he's working on a master's degree in urban ministry. When I think about someone in the Bible that reminds me of him, I think of Barnabas. Barnabas was a connector. He was someone who helped connect the Christian community. That is Nick Mitchell. He is an overcomer. He is an encourager. And he is an achiever. And as he said in his own words, ministry is what I was created to do. Nick, you're a good man. Keep up the good work.